All right, so the battery has been charged. That's the only thing I've done so far. We will. It says propeller installation. This is for specifically. Nice little screwdriver set, wrench set. Okay, the nuts are on the motors already. Match the spin marks on the actual propeller. I don't know if you can see it. The spin mark is mounted there and there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This matches this one. Missing something here. Oh, okay, there's a little notch there. It's got a fit on. Of course, the nuts spin opposite directions. There's definitely a flat side. get the flat side down. Two flat sides. the same issue as the DGI where the DJI has the um, you want to do the leading edge of the props to make it less jello in the video view I don't know Need to order a spare set of props right now. OK, 
Okay. Okay, turn it over for the landing gear. Already charged the battery, so it's don't need to see the charger. Everything for the landing gear, hopefully, is here. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Finger screws, fine thread. For some reason they give an extra one. This one's got a slot. I'm wondering if the other one has a slot. The landing gear, the wire comes out right here. Yes, see? There's a little slot right there that looks like it's made for this wire to tuck in. And it looks like it'll let it lay up in the landing gear strut, which is nowhere mentioned. Oh, there it is. It is mentioned in the instructions to install the landing gear with the antenna hole on the body with antenna and a fixed landing gear with screws. So you got to pay attention to that when you put the landing gear on. I'll show you that before I put the other one on. See that? The antenna can come up and I would imagine it gets taped in right there. Bad, not bad. says to place and fix the antenna in the groove of the landing gear with 3M tape, which is obviously not provided, but I happen to have some right here. And it is 3M, actually. I'll tape it right there. Well, that's exactly what they had in mind. Okay, 
looks like the battery goes in this slot here. Okay, next, LED instruction. Do the transmitter, see if I get batteries for it. Very little of anything. I had my knob off of my stick. Happen to have my batteries with me. One, two, three, four. Now, let's make sure we're good. Okay, binding. To insert the battery in a cob trap, they connect. The red indicator light, the green will blink rapidly. Please do not move and shake. Close the battery cover with the red indicator light and green inner light blink slowly. I assume slide the battery in. Insert the battery. Connect. Okay. Close the battery cover when the red indicator light and the green indicator light blink slowly, alternately. Looks like they're blinking slowly, alternately. There's quite a bit of room for another battery. It's a bit of a hassle right there, putting the, just to get the, the wiring in. Tight. Huh? Closed, hope it doesn't fall out. Okay. I'm gonna get back a little bit. I'm not going to fly it right now. Never flown a quadcopter before. This is for filming. Okay. Turn on the transmitter. Binding will succeed after switching on the sound of the transmitter. Note, put throttle stick in the lowest position. SWA and SWB switch be in zero. Zero, zero, down. For the first time out tall, I want you to please wait for two minutes. Please do not use the GBS moot indoor to avoid accidents. Mm -hmm. Manual mode. These are all manual modes, zero and zero. Motor unlock. Once binding, put down the throttle stick to the bottom right. When the red becomes steady, the motors are unlocked. Motor lock. Bottom left. Bottom left. Locks. Red light blink locked. Bottom right unlocks. Okay. And until I get outside, that's all I'm going to do. 
I'm going to relock the motors, which is down and to the left. And the motors are locked, powering down. Okay, once I get outside, we'll do more.